there's a couple of published studies now that have looked at the impact of uh, mindfulness training for attention. We, I can talk about the one we did in my own lab. Um, and what we did is we recruited adults with ADD that, and we didn't tell them to change their typical, whatever um, clinical treatment they were having, they continued. And um, what was very interesting was the way in which that mindfulness course was constructed and offered was very different than sort of the standard um, manualized versions of mindfulness-based stress reduction, for example. So my uh, collaborator um, that was at the University of Pennsylvania, Michael Baim, he actually, the first day of class, their exercise, their homework for the week was a, a one-minute mindfulness exercise. And what they did during that minute was listen to this recording, which was silence for a minute, except for every 10 seconds, it was a little ding, ding. And it was, and that was it. That was the exercise. And the, and the instruction was bring your attention back to the here and now when you hear the ding. And it was so funny because people said they just played it all day long. <laughs> um, at work, they just constantly, and it was great because every 10 seconds or so, you know, they'd get back to being in the present moment. What we found was that it did improve their ability to um, uh, protect against mind wandering and uh, improved their attention. And um, what was very interesting also was that they said that they didn't change the amount of medication, but they were better able to use it. So they were better able to know when the Adderall had worn off, and maybe now it's time to uh, take it again. So something shifted, and, and there's, there was such a creative group of people. I never received so many cards, gifts, letters, and paintings after this study. It was an amazing uh, project. So I guess we sh we're starting to learn that it, it is helpful um, and that there is some data on it.